Hey everyone, how are you doing today? So when it comes to canon and legends, Darth Maul has some of the most differences than any character in the Star Wars universe. And today, I want to look at what legends say about Palpatine finding Darth Maul and then beginning to train him. This all comes from the great legends book, Darth Plagueis. During Palpatine's apprenticeship to Darth Plagueis, Palpatine visited the world of Dathomir to learn of its secrets. It was a planet steeped in the dark side, perhaps not as much as the Sith world of Corbin, but it was a place Sidious very much wanted to learn from. It was the year 54 BBY, before Battle of Yavin, and Sidious, dressed as Senator Palpatine himself, was exploring Blue Desert City on Dathomir, when he noticed a human female scanning the crowds. At first he thought she was looking for someone, or maybe was perhaps a thief, but then he felt that she was something different and was looking for someone for another reason. Sidious, always being curious, stretched out with the Force to sense her intentions, but the woman must have felt a disturbance in the Force because she immediately narrowed in on him and walked towards him. She flags him down, and Palpatine initially thinks she wants money, but he's surprised when she says that she has a gift for him. She exposes a baby Dathomirian Zabrak male and tells Sidious that she wants him to take it. Now, I don't know about you, but I would think Sidious' first instinct here would be to run away. But he stays, and she tells him that she is the mother of two Dathomirian Zabrak infants, and by Dathomirian tradition, the father was killed shortly after their conception. Palpatine finally recognizes her as a human night sister and surprises her when he mentions Mother Talzin. Now she wants to give the baby to Sidious even more. Initially, she only wanted to find someone important, powerful, and wealthy to give the baby to. But now, it seems that this man in front of her has the Force as well. She tells him her baby is strong in the Force, and the baby's name was Maul. Palpatine is shocked by all of this. Why would she want to part with her own flesh and blood? Well, it all has to do with the traditions of the Night Sisters and Night Brothers. Night Brothers don't live a great life underneath the Sisters. They are a clan of Zabrax, trained to serve the Night Sisters as warriors and slaves. So Maul's mother, whose name is K-Y-C-I-N-A, which I say Kaichina, but it could be Kaisina, wants to save at least one of her sons from such a fate, especially since the baby is strong in the Force. Kaichina, or Kaisina, believes that Mother Talzin, the leader of the Witches of Dathomir, only knows of one of two brothers. So, she wants to save at least one from becoming one of the Knight Brothers. She senses Palpatine is strong in the Force, and she begs for Palpatine to take him, and in an honest and unusual moment, Palpatine agrees. Not out of some goodness of his heart, but because he can feel the Force within the baby, and he is interested in the opportunity to raise a child to only know the dark side, and be used as a perfect weapon. Palpatine was still a little unsure of what to do with the baby. It's not like the Naboo senator can start running around with a Zabrak baby boy. So he actually turns to his master, Darth Plagueis, and proposes that Maul train in the ways of the dark side of the Force. Although such an action technically violates the Rule of Two, which allows for only two Sith Lords to exist at any given time, Plagueis grants his apprentice permission to proceed with Maul's training. However, Plagueis is also clear that Maul is to be an assassin rather than a fully trained Sith Lord. So very much like what Sidious would do with Dooku and Asajj Ventress, under Sidious's tutelage and Pelagus's observation, Kaichina's son grows up to become Darth Maul, a Sith warrior deeply immersed in the dark side, but also with a pretty horrible childhood. He's basically raised by droids on Mustafar, with only occasional visits from Sidious, and after that, he is raised in the works of Coruscant, which are toxic factories and rundown buildings. So it's no wonder why Maul goes straight up crazy after his defeat from Obi-Wan. So what happened with Maul's mother? Well, about 15 years after giving Maul up, Mother Talzin learns of Kaichina's betrayal, and in turn has her locked away and punishes her. Maul, of course, would also later meet his long-lost brother, Savage Opress, and they try to kill both Darth Tyrannus and Darth Sidious. Unfortunately for Maul's brothers, they fail in both. Now, this story about how Sidious finds Maul is almost like a lucky chance story. Palpatine just happened to be in the right place at the right time. In canon, the story is quite different and is honestly much better because Sidious reveals how evil he is. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like for me to make a video about how Sidious finds them all in canon, and I'll do it. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you, always.